Hey, Matt and Denise, look what I got. I got your new Outback Ultralight 291 UBH. Let's learn about your new camper. Up front, you got this beautiful molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in. You're gonna turn those bad boys on and off right there. You're gonna have a new 12 volt battery in the battery box. And right down here, there's this little red thing. That is a quick battery disconnect. So kind of like pulling the cables off the terminals on the battery. It will still drain your batteries a little bit, but it is going to help a lot with that. And then we got both the 30 pound propanes all filled up. Got an on and off light here for your power tongue jack. Rip around, ready to go. We will get your guys' uh, hitch all hooked up when you're here. Coming along the side, we've got your pass through storage. Look at all the space. And your 50 amp service cable. There's a sewer hose way on the other side. Right there, there's a um, quick connect shower hose and electrical adapters to bring this down to 30 and 110. Inside this little service compartment bay, there is an LED light, has a little push button right on the lens cover. Hook up for that quick connect hose for your hot and cold water shower. There is a diagram here for these three nozzles. That's gonna allow you to configure it for filling your onboard holding tank for your fresh water. Uh, using city pressurized water, sanitizing it, cleaning it, winterizing it, all the fun things you could ever wanna do with your water tanks. And that's where the hose would go for that configuration for whatever it is you wanna do. Flush out your black tank so when you go to dump, you're gonna hook up your hose, dump your black tank, dump your gray tank, flush them out, and then utilities can be run up and in through this little access panel. There's a little boop, close off on it. Hook up for cable and satellite that is prepped on the roof. Got little rain gutters up there to help take the water away from the camper. And you're going to have a gray tank for your kitchen. You're going to have a gray and black tank for your um, bathroom. Um, she got a bath. She looks so pretty. Can't wait to see you guys take her home. Uh, and then we have your tankless water heater. There's an on and an off switch. Oop, turn that off now that the guys are done testing it. Bumper, great place to hide that stinky, slinky sewer hose. Hook up for your electrical cable. Yeah, spare tire, a little extra storage you saw earlier. Prepped and ready for a backup service camera. A ladder to access your serviceable walkable roof. LED lights everywhere. Outside kitchen, we got your two burner cooktop with the propane. Quick connect right there with that yellow thing. And then you have up and down for your power jacks in the back. Again, we've got another touch LED light. LEDs on your awning, outside speakers, hook up for an outside TV. So we got the outlets there. And again, controls for your power stabilizer jacks up front. As promised, there's those hose and electrical adapters and another LED light and a 15 amp controller that's for your solar system let's go inside and look at the rest all the cabinets okay when you first walk in we've got a thermostat you will touch the little gray bar it's gonna go through the settings and you'll just pause on the one that you want so I'm gonna turn oh I have it off there we go and we're going to check our fresh water tank levels, about a third, because the guys were testing it. Battery is... Oh, I have that disconnection off because we're plugged in. Uh, black and gray tanks are all empty. Water pump, if you're using your onboard holding tank, you are going to need your water pump to pressurize the water. If you are using city water, leave it off because it's going to bypass it. Ceiling lights, outside awning lights, your slide out, and your power awning. You're going to be able to turn this little guy on. It's thermostat for your water heater. You do have a latch for your barn door. Make sure that's secured before you go off on a trip. Make sure your table is secured. you got that storage underneath. LED lights for the booth are way up here. And then you're going to have little touch lights above the dinette recliners, pull tabs to kick those out and open. And then we have another barn door to secure here in the bunk room, USB ports, tons and tons of space for kiddo 
and some great storage there as well. Up, get a little cubby hole to hide all your goodies. And CD DVD player that's going to allow you to have the two station channels for inside and outside speakers. Oh, that sounds better. And that nice big huge hidden pantry. And on your fridge you're going to have this little latch. So this guy kind of slides over to latch it closed and open. Ooh, it's nice and cold in here. No spin on your microwave. Hood fan and vent up above. Three burner cooktop has the glass cover, so flip once. Flip one more time, that gives you a backsplash and access to your three burners. You'll pick your burner, gas on, click, click, ignite. And the keys are right there waiting for you. Some great storage underneath as well. Coming up into the bathroom, beautiful three panel glass door for this huge shower latch make sure it's secured or this will be a 3,000 piece shower door we've got foot flush on your porcelain toilet nice above its sink some good medicine cabinet space and you do have a little button here that's going to go right there and then the AC is all ducked in here as well and in your master bedroom you have utility outlets Prepped for um, if you ever expand your solar, that you could put an inverter in there. Got a spot for a TV. And again, secure that barn door so it doesn't go on a trip before your trip. And that is your beautiful new Outback 291 UBH. Congratulations, you guys. I'm so glad we were able to find a camper for you and your family. If you have any questions on it, let me know. April Welch at Lakeshore RV Center, 231-638-7750.